Would you like to learn how to use the Pantone colors of the year in your repeat pattern designs? Well, then this video is for you. I am giving you tips and tricks on how to actually implement the colors of the year that Pantone releases every end of the year. And right now it's December 2022 and Pantone has just released their color of the year, Viva Magenta. So I will show you more what I have to say about it and how to actually use it. I will give you tips and tricks and examples on how to use it for your uh, textile designs. So stay tuned. My name is Oksantia and I have been a textile designer working for myself for 15 years now, for over 15 years now, and I have created over 10,000 uh, illustrations and vector repeat pattern designs portfolio, and I publish children's books as well as I am an uh, award-winning online course creator. So let's hop right in. So here we are on the Pantone website and here you see the color of the year Viva Magenta. Their Pantone number is 1817.50 and they have a lot of interesting goodies and inspiration for you uh, to admire. The links, by the way, of everything that I mentioned will be in the uh, description under this video. So definitely super cool color is actually one of my favorites or very close to the shades and colors that I've been using in my pattern designs for years so that's why I am excited because I already have some patterns that have that kind of color as an accent color and I will be making more uh, to actually use this awesome color. So they have a video about it here. And uh, here for repeat pattern designers, they actually have a collaboration with Spoonflower. So you see some examples of patterns and I will show you more the ones that they created for the release of the uh, color of the year. And here it is. So that's in the middle, there's this color, but they also give you some uh, colors that go well together and then they suggest you use in combination with this Viva Magenta color. Very, very cool and that's helpful. But I actually put together a few colors that I like that go with it and I will show you in a minute. Okay, so they have some uh, colors and swatches for their on their website and then they have past colors of the year. So that's very cool. And for inspiration, they have uh, some collaborations with uh, different brands that use that color. Very awesome. Okay, so when we go to Spoonflower here, you see some examples of designers who already created this, uh, the patterns using that color, which is very cool. Again, don't copy these patterns, it's just for general inspiration. And they also used the colors that Pantone suggests that you might use as a color partners to Viva Magenta, which is very cool. Okay, I have a few on Spoonflower, uh, a few patterns myself in my Spoonflower shop. And uh, here are a few that, for example, my um, dolphins pattern has that as an accent color and I have this design that I it's like a mock quilt also with uh, one of the colors is uh, very close to Viva Magenta as well as uh, the My Floral Mosaic fabric so again just your um, just for your inspiration and ideas for you to use in your own designs and also my older design uh, birds and flowers which also has that uh, kind of shade here we are in adobe illustrator and i created some suggestions for you and some tips and tricks to use this color in your own designs first of all here is the Pantone color 1870-50 and the hex number of um, this color is uh, BE3455 and the RGB breakdown is below so you can pause this video and you can copy that or you can go down to the description and copy those numbers from there. And here I created some lighter, medium and dark versions of this color, which also comes in handy for your repeat pattern design and for elements and uh, line art. Uh, 
outlines, shading, and highlights. So you can use these, all of these together with the main Viva Magenta color. And here on the right side, I actually placed the Viva Magenta as a background and I added some colors that I think are uh, going well together with Viva Magenta. Again, this is my personal opinion, but I really like how this color goes with gold and silver. And I think the, with, if you add actual gold and silver texture to it, it will look very beautiful for holiday patterns. And uh, now, right now, uh, the um, Valentine's Day is coming up, so definitely it will be good for those Valentine's Day designs. Uh, how do you use these hex numbers or uh, uh, RGB numbers? So you go to you uh, select a circle. Let's say you create a circle here, or any kind of shape you want to design and color. Uh, let's say I have this color here now, and then in Adobe Illustrator you go to the fill color, double click on that. And here you have uh, RGB numbers, you have CMYK numbers, and you have a hex number. So let's type in the hex number for the Viva Magenta. B E 3455. And then we click OK. And then this is how you get that color. And how did I get the lighter and darker versions? I just again selected that shape and clicked, double clicked on fill. And then I moved it like so to get all kinds of different shapes and shades of this color. Okay, very good. Magenta as a whole, as a color, is described to have a meaning of universal harmony and balance, which is a very cool color and can be used in so many occasions. That's why I'm excited about this year in particular. Which topics do you design your repeat patterns on so that you can use this color? The possibilities are endless. It will go very well with the Valentine's Day coming up. It will go great with the Christmas topic for next year. Year, uh, Christmas since we are too close to this year but you can still use it for some last-minute designs and graphics or for your website for your promotional materials that is great however you are uh, definitely uh, you can use them for anything with berries and strawberry uh, cherry, these kinds of colors. So that will be pretty cool to see. And you can also use it with all kinds of flowers from roses to tulips to all different kinds of flowers. So basically it will go great for on many florals and of course on geometrics as well. Very, very versatile color. How do you actually use it in a design? You can use it as a strong background color and then put some elements on top of it. Those elements can be white, for example, or it can be used as uh, the elements would be this Viva Magenta color and then the background would be white, another version. Or you can also combine them with the suggestions from the website that I saw you from the Pantone website itself. Or you can use this colors that I suggested for you just to get your inspiration started and then of course play with all kinds of different colors. Uh, also, this color would be great as an accent color uh, on top of a more of a pastel design. You can put some little line art in this color, uh, some uh, outlines can be this color. Also, you can play it with the lighter, medium and darker shades of that color and combine them in these harmonious uh, designs. So many cool ways to use it particular tips on selling these kinds of designs. So first of all, you can use the color uh, in your own designs because colors are not copyrighted in particular. And you can use the word magenta and potentially the word viva uh, as keywords because uh, neither of them are copyrighted in particular. So you can use viva and you can use hashtag magenta. Then also it would be great to use uh, not hashtags as a viva magenta or pantone. You can can use those uh, while posting your designs on social media that feature those colors. And if you're uploading your designs for sale to Microstock websites or Spoonflower, you can use uh, Viva, you can use Magenta, you can use also uh, pinkish red or purplish red or uh, purplish pinkish red. Those are the ways how to kind of describe the in simpler colors this particular shade and 
color. Very, very cool. Just remember that the word Pantone is a trademark, so you cannot uh, use uh, the word Pantone in the uh, tags in the keywords when you are uploading your designs on uh, Spoonflower and on uh, Microsoft. And coincidentally, one of my favorite patterns that I always keep by my side, I have this uh, mouse pad that I printed with my uh, pattern. It features some shades of the Viva Magenta in a design. So again, more inspiration. And it's kind of like, a, it's a cool coincidence that I already have it here on my little mouse pad in my design studio. So today you learned how to actually research and use uh, the Pantone color of the year, Viva Magenta, and how to apply this for a method, this principle uh, for any kinds of colors, uh, next colors of the year or trending colors that you can, can come across and definitely super fun to play with right now. If you want to learn more how to actually uh, create a lifestyle business as a repeat pattern designer, I have a free webinar for you, three secrets to building a lifestyle business designing repeat patterns, absolutely free. You can click in the info card in the corner of this video right now, or go to the description where, where the links are and uh, under this video and you will be able to get the link to the webinar there. Again, it's a free webinar, full packed of great tips that I collected over 15 years of my design career and you will be able to learn them right now. Like this video if you liked it, share with your own creative friends if you know somebody who can benefit from learning about this uh, cool color of the year and how to use it in repeat pattern designs or in actually many different kinds of designs and illustrations this year. And uh, I would love, love, love it if you subscribe to my channel because I uh, create and upload new videos very regularly. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Grow, love and create. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.